Welcome back to another part guys. Today we are going to learn MongoDB database creation and schema creation. Let's get started with database creation it's completely free let's create MongoDB cluster. Let's add MongoDB URI and add username password. I'm going to rename my database. If you want you can do it. Let's add a port configuration for the backend server. I'm going to use port 5000. Port configuration is done. Now we are going to create a model and user schema. First, we have to import mongas and crypto let's do it. Then we are going to create required fields for user schema.
What is schema and model in MongoDB? A schema is fundamentally describing the data construct of a document, in MongoDB collection. This schema defines the name of each item of data, and the type of data, whether it is a string, number, date, boolean, and so on. A model is a compiled version of the schema. Now we are going to create the required user schema for our API project. In this API we have two roles one is admin and user. Let's create the user schema. With required fields. In this user schema have required fields let's add one by one. Name, email, salt, hashed password, role, timestamp. Now we are going to hash the user's password for security. What is hashing a password? Hashing method is used to index and retrieve items in a database as it is faster to search that specific item using the shorter hashed key instead of using its original value. Hashing is an ideal method to calculate the direct location of a data record on the disk without using an index structure. Let's create a virtual password method and hash the user's password. What is salt in hashing? Salting is simply the addition of a unique, random string of characters known only to the site to each password before it is hashed. Typically this salt is placed in front of each password. The salt value needs to be stored by the site, which means sometimes sites use the same salt for every password.
Now we are going to authenticate and encrypt the password. Made a mistake. Let's rename this off model file. Now update and digest the password with the date and time details. Finally, we have finished the encrypt, update, and hashing password functionality. And now export the model with user schema.
let's create the user controller. I'm going to use the controller folder. And file name is user.controller.js. Now we are going to use Express JWT. What is Express JWT? This module provides Express middleware for validating JWTs, JSON web tokens, through the JSON web token module. The decoded JWT payload is available on the request object. First, we need to load the controller. Then read and update the controller. Let's do it one by one. Let's read the controller and use user params, params mean parameter. What status code 400? The 400 bad request error is an HTTP response status code indicating that the server was unable to process the request sent by the client due to invalid syntax. Now we are going to update the controller. Let's do it.
Now we are going to update the controller and add a username and password validation feature in our API. Now add password validation. It should be six character. That's all guys today next video we will work on login, register, forgot password functionality, etc. Thanks for watching this video make sure to check the github for the source code. Link in the description. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.